In and out. In and out. Come up, boom. Off the step back. Yeah. Hit, hit, hit two hit more steps. Excuse my French. I just step messed that up right. He go two. He go two. Hey, yeah, he, he, that's a travel. No, is it? Really, it? If he go here. In one, here, two. Yeah. yeah that's, that's a, a travel. travel. That's what he do, ain't it? He he comes here, step he comes back. off, and then he just picks it up, one, and he two. just makes his whole, his whole, I'm just wondering if it's a travel. Man, Candace he step went you back, back, yeah. And then he takes two more steps. Right, that's, that's, that's a travel? You get two off the step, right? Yeah, you get two, but then if he takes anything extra, it depends if he picks it up here and then he jump, jump. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he pulled Candace, it back. Candace wanted to argue me that that was a travel, he's picking it up, but I'm like, off any time you get We gotta watch the slow-mo. He's right? pulling you back, see that? and then right. he's taking two more. That ain't, you, you know what I'm saying? Pulling you back. Let me ask you this while we're standing two. up. Why is he dropping everybody with this? Is everybody playing the drive and then he yanks Ooh. you back and my, now my momentum is... Yeah, he's trying, he's getting after you. I mean, he's coming downhill and then he's... And then, just, he, and then he yanking this. Mm. Uh -huh. Why we got so many people falling right now, though? Because <laughs> ain't no hand Off trick. balance. Ain't no, ain't no balance. Ain't no, I can't put nothing on. Ain't, no, <laughs> ain't, ain't no balance. What about this stand? Man. Maybe they don't have no stand. Man, your, your stand. Well, these guys are standing. They're not out wide. Right. Right. You yeah. see Wesley, right. man. Wesley got rocked. He was like this. Yeah. That, that, you know what I'm saying? He's hitting that Michael he Jackson. He might get that little shoulder in you, too. There's a little bit of that physical, like, I might bump you a little yeah. bit. Like, ooh. He just got him on skates. Man, yeah. his, man I, this is the most I've ever seen people fall, if not stagger them, with spaghetti legs. Yeah, everything. Everybody caught falling You know, because back in the day, we used sent people one way. Right. Yeah. So what? no crossover. He no. can't cross me over. I made no you way. go the way I want you to right go. Right to my help. And then before us, they had hand checks. Yeah. See, there you go. Yeah. See, but nowadays, they try they to steal the, They got all the space it, in the world. You know, they Listen to this. steal the ball. You, this, this, I saw somebody <laughs> doing this the other day. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this, though? It looks like they get ready to take off on the plane, right? I'm like, what is this? What is this? He was like, this. I said, man, when you're here, you can't do this no more? Well, these get wild. Do you like this move, the Dwayne Wade? Uh, Listen. When you put your hand on yeah. and then a boop, See, foul. Who, who used to I'm do I'm glad they changed that, though. Because, yeah. you know, it was a bailout. Yeah. Guys mm -hmm. are doing it at the three-point line. Yeah, I'm glad yeah. they changed it. It was really a post move where you would come here and you have a guy playing you like this and you <laughs> went up his ribs and he would right, automatically... Right, right, right. And that's how you get that. Now, mm -hmm. now it's out here like this. Out. out there like right. that, yeah. yeah. he just ripped up. And he getting it. Yep. He getting nah. it. I mean, I don't like it, but if you're an offensive player, you mm -hmm. get it. Well, that gets your hands off. Well, I'm glad yeah. they changed No hand that. check. Because that was a cheap foul. And, yeah. and, and look, how can you defend it? You can't, you can't yeah, defend can't. like this. You can't. I mean, I don't know what yeah. you do. You, you got to have your hands. Use you your hands. It's a, it's a, listen, they want you to check, like, on and off, yep. on and off. And that's, that's and this, right. And this, and this is right. And that's it. You're teaching this, not, not, not this. Yeah, oh, what, what is that? It's freedom. What is that? Freedom. I'm going to do this just to keep my balance. Just to keep your balance. Yeah, so I keep my balance. I'm saying you got to do that, man. That's not even basketball. It's not even a basketball. It's not. This don't even feel basketball. Yeah, what is that? Right, so. And that's what they teach him. Right. You know, because like you said, they just got workout coaches. They not really. Yeah, they don't really want to play one on one. They not or, playing you know. basketball. It's like when you guys are doing your drills down yeah. the, the post players and the right, guards. Right, we call that down here. I know you guys right, are down right. here beating on each other. They not playing right. basketball. That's they doing workout moves. And you gotta figure out because your post move feel yeah. different yeah. when there's defense, right? <laughs> yeah, it do it do. Same with a, a guard. You're not getting just where you want to right. unless somebody's leaning on you That's or bumping true. you out of the way. Mm -hmm. So you work on that move, no D. Right. Your balance, the whole everything. You're going all the way out here. You're gonna do that banana cut, right? You're gonna be like. Yep, all the and way. Not out. to the rim. Man, let me ask you this: You was an elite scorer. What was your go-to move? I do like the pullback. Oh, you do? Uh huh. Because you, you had a bunch of step back. Yeah, left you, go, right. you go between your leg. You can right. bounce it. You knew at, at some point you could get that off on mm. anybody with range, and and they gotta respect that you can get off off mm. the dribble. Because you gotta play the you gotta play the drive yeah, first, right? Yeah, because like I can I can go like this, right. but then I can bounce. And that's But then that shot. gives oh. me a little bit. Even if there's times running down, I'm gonna get it off. How left or right preference? I like my left hand. Really? Because I'm a righty. Right. So I don't like. I don't like. I don't like. That the, feels weird. It feels like you cross the box right. Right. So I'm a, I'm left, a left fade. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something. When did you go to counters? Counters? Did just you read the defense? Did you, did you yeah. I mean, tried to too. Uh, I mean, it, I just I was more. I got better at my counters as I got older. As we all did. But, but, <laughs> but when we were younger, I mean, if I want to get my pull-up, uh, you know, pull-up jumper off, I'm going to get my pull-up jumper. I'm going to make that one move and go. But I got better at kind of the between the legs and just my ball handling because I was kind of a post player back when. No doubt. And then, you know, so gradually. Oh, look at your finger. Man. Yeah, I know. Hey, got that in me. <laughs> hey, listen. Yeah. That's, that's one of them. We call them yeah. basketball. Yeah, basketball, yeah, basketball man. Man. I got thumbs like that. My yeah. thumbs are uh, uh. Let me ask you. You was a uh -huh. prolific scorer. Had yeah. to guard you a couple times. What was your go-to move? One favorite dribble move? pull up. One day was one of the hardest moves. Man, to... My father and told rise. me, just pick a spot, any spot on the floor. 
one and dribble pull, pull up. up. Yep, because you don't know where I'm going. That's the hardest yep. move yeah. to go You ain't giving me that yeah. high dribble. Yeah, one dribble, and crossover, and yeah. pull up. Michael Jordan, on spot. one of his hardest moves was two dribble pull up. Mm. And you don't even know that where when you take going. his left off, he would jab you left, come back to it. And one of the hardest moves to execute. Can't stop it. Right. Can't stop. What about you, Sam? No, you got a bunch of money. Put my head down and go right. Because <laughs> I couldn't dribble all that. When I came no, in the league, laughing, oh, man. Man. they I'm used to tell us real. all the time, if you could do one thing really good, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> and that's what I used I to do. I saw Sam with a drill in, in practice going all the oh, way out there. Every time. Five times. And, and, and I got what? there. You got there. We got beat, man, by the drill, oh. man. We deserve to run after that. Man. Man. <laughs> we'll see, man. We done. Right, man. My old thing, John Lucas taught me this. I said, Luke, you went left for 14 years. He said, why not? Uh, they never made they me go never right. Exactly. It. <laughs> Clyde Drexler would go left. They never left. made me go right, Listen, so I'm going to go left. I'm going to go right. Clyde yeah. Drexler, I remember guarding Clyde Drexler going left, dribbling right. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, this Pushing man. And hold up. And he got there, yeah, too. He got, he got there. there, too. Yeah. Wonder Throw it out a little bit. Give me some one. Uh -huh. So, Ricky, you were in one of KG's favorite slam dunk contests of all time, the 2000 Ooh. slam dunk contest Ooh. against yeah. Carter. We got yeah. some footage here. What do you remember? Uh, all about I remember this is every time I was ready to do a dunk, I could still hear the crowd from Vince Carter. <laughs> That's all uh, I could hear was Vince Carter. Vince this, Carter. This, this but it was amazing. Um, it was just, you know, I was still young. I was still 18. Oh so to, just to be wow. out there and competing with, with Vince and all these guys, Stackhouse Ooh. and McGrady. It was just amazing. And that was the year Bobby Fields died. So just yeah. going out there yeah. representing Bobby no. Fields no. on my chest, it was just amazing. You know what's weird? What you said by Bobby, mm -hmm. I sold my car to Bobby because he wow. bought it. I had an a older car. He bought it for his dad. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh, so yeah. Bobby and I used to hang out, play golf together yeah. in the summertime all the oh, time. Oh, yeah. That's Great guy. Great guy, yeah. man. Yeah. Great guy. He's amazing. Man, Bobby Fields. Oh, That's yeah. a dope name, too. Mm -hmm. Man, hell of, a, hell of a player, too. Yeah, so that dunk contest was Yeah, that was magical. That was, was probably, amazing. Listen, before um, Zach and Gordon got into it, I, I probably said that was probably my favorite experience as far as a dunk contest because mm -hmm. um, I knew we knew Vince before he had got into mm -hmm. the league, and we knew probably before um, All Star Weekend because I think he had played Atlanta, dunked on Dikembe pretty <laughs> yeah. nasty, mm -hmm. played in Indiana, and did something crazy on Chris Mully. So everybody was like, oh, yeah, we read. Never knew what he, you know. And then we knew <laughs> yeah. his old dunks. We yeah. knew what we had seen. We never knew he was going to pull some of the side. None of that. You know what I'm saying? But I like to think that, you know, him and Ronnie Fields had an a, a mm. ultimate showdown in Nike. And uh, he took some of those dunks that, you know, Fields beat him on and put it in here. So your wow. guy, Ronnie Fields, beat him in a dunk contest. Beat him yeah. in a dunk contest. And when, uh, when the, his first dunk was one of the dunks that Ronnie Fields beat him on. Ooh. Wow. And when I went to Vince and I asked him, I said, man, I said, you, you out here using Phil's joint. He ain't here to use it. He ain't here. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. So, you know, that was Vince Swag, though. Yeah. You know, and he did the 360 the other way. Mm -hmm. Not know. too many people know about Ryan. No, you know, no, not a, that's one of those small secrets mm -hmm. that you How talented really was Ronnie Phil? Ronnie Phil was probably one of the most talented people I've, I've, I, uh, I've ever played with. He was 6'2", and he was bigger and stronger than his size, meaning that, mm -hmm. um, he had to put like a small forward on him. Like he, he, he you know, he was really 6'1", 6 6'2". So that's like point guard. Too big for So, him. you know, and then, you know, I remember I'm in camp, him and AI was kind of looking at each other. Just, you know, AI. How did he and AI play against each other? No, I mean, you know, it, one, he's from Chicago, so he's super tough. You know, anything about Midwest yeah. kids, they tough. And they going to come through and they coming hard. But his, 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 um, his superpower, if you will, was his power. Sam, I've never seen somebody so athletically... Um, Gifted other than Vince, mm. you know, you think about because yeah. we know both. Oh, yeah. yeah, Ronnie Fields probably had the he, he probably had the if closest thing to Jordan as far as body control out of the air and being able wow. to control itself and you know, you know, play with English and being uh -huh. mid air and switching and changing. Then he just had control. we had a certain temperature where if he didn't want to do all this, he'll just go through Dunk you yeah. or wow. go over you. Mm -hmm. You know, like he'll get up and then be like, should I lay this up? And then he'll go on the other <laughs> side and be like, Tch. and I, you find yourself being in awe, man. Like he was one of the best players that never made it. Man, like that's wow. one of the biggest.
probably disappointments to the game of basketball that the world didn't really get to see Ronnie Fields mm -hmm. on this bigger scale. Yes. Real talk. Him, him and Shea Cotton. Him and Shea Cotton was probably, Shea Cotton was LeBron before LeBron. 6'8", yeah. 265. Wow. Ooh. Come off left hand. He was left, left hand. Oh, my. Oh. Had a tray hat handles. <laughs> 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 No plan. He was all monster. He was hey, a man hey, child. hey, he, he, yeah. you by your, he was he was he was nasty. Was a man he was a butt. I was, he so was scared of him. He was he was before this? his time. Oh. Shea Cott was probably the most feared player. He was a freshman. Yeah. He was a ninth grader. Mm. Listen, man, I As saw As a ninth it. grader, he was scared. scared. Listen, East. man, Shea Cott. I mean, Cotton. I'm looking at him Shea like Cotton, what? Shea Cott, Ronnie Fields. They throw Lenny Cook in there, but I ain't never played against Lenny Cook. These two I saw for myself. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> These two best players I've ever played against that never can't made. Be a sophomore. Straight up. Wow. Shea he was that good. Yeah, yes, that he was. Good, that he was strong. 265, but he was strong. He yes. had boy on. Mm. He could have handle, flame, and he was mm, he was dead, yeah. right? <laughs> he from LA. He from LA though. He was like oh, that yeah. though, right? He was like Real that. deal, Sam. Mm -hmm. Shea wow. Cotton. Yeah, Give me some. Stuff. Question from Facebook. Is it the Thunder's bench or Big Three? That's the problem for this man, team. It's the bench, man. Yeah. It's the bench. The big three, you got to expect. Nice. See, that's a frail. Did he give it? That's a frail? Is that a? Is that a? He called it. But, but my question is this. <coughs> if it's the bench and you got three Hall of Fame players, then Co you got to figure coaching. out how to mix coaching. and match that. Coaching. You know, you, you, you got to have, look, two of those guys, those all-stars on the floor, but you got to have one of those guys Coming with the second unit. Do. Mm -hmm. Now, whether it's Paul George, and I might even would say, Put Paul, play Paul George yes. a with lot of minutes move. with the second unit because the fact that he's going to have the basketball in his hands, he's mm -hmm. going to make the game easier. I say this all the time. In the league today, you need two and a half, three all-stars. Yep. Yeah. In Minnesota, we had one, KG. Right. And he made everybody on the team better. Mm -hmm. yeah. He touched the ball every time, and we got wide open shots because of him. Right. And I, and I, I cannot believe, I fail to believe that you cannot do the same thing with a Paul George or a Melo, especially if they're willing to give the ball up. You think right. this, you think it's coaching there, Sam? No, I don't think it's coaching. I just think it's hard, KG, man, because, you know, when you look at a guy like Camelo Anthony, who's been the focal point of, of the offense every year right. he's been in the league, and now all of a sudden for the first time, he's, he's the third wheel. Mm -hmm. That's a major that's tough, adjustment. Man. That's, that's a huge oh, adjustment. That takes a lot. That's, 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 that's mental, right? That and then lot. you said yeah. something. Then you factor in. He's older. Mm -hmm. He's not as athletic as he used to be. So he can't go get it. <laughs> like you know, think about too. it. Melo used to go get an offense rebound when he wanted the basket. Yep. Uh -huh. He can't do that now. Right. So you got to help him score. Right. So you got to be run some little sexy mm -hmm. little plays for him, mm -hmm. get him in space, put him on the elbow. Right. But he's got to help himself by getting out, pushing himself, running more right. to get some easy baskets. Communication with Billy to help, too, to be able to yeah. scheme and come up with something that you're feeling. But yeah. he's got to be willing to make changes, KJ. This is the thing. You, he ain't this, ready to let go yet? Well, I don't know, because I'm not there. Like no, KJ said, we're not there. But you either adapt or you die. You're Jeez. right. In life, period. In general, right, yeah. anything. Yeah. No help. Look, you see that? But what you going to help, though? He blew, right by, he blew right by him. And what you just said about players um, having communication with their coaches Important. is helpful. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're, you don't feel like you're getting used well or maybe there's a set you like or a right, place right. you that like, goes into like, it. for them to tell that to you is is helpful. Mm -hmm. Like, because sometimes but, you, yeah. you're like, hey, what do you like to run? But, Katie, like, don't, don't you have know. to put a player yeah. sometimes in an uncomfortable position True. to help them grow to get better? You're right. And sometimes players don't see that. That's the difference when you become a coach uh -uh. and you're trying to figure out how to best use players. Sometimes I'm going to ask you to do some things that's going to be uncomfortable for right. you, but I'm asking you to do it to get you to grow. Think about it. Zach cried every day when I put him at point guard. Yep. Every day he knocking on my office, coach, I'm not a point guard. I'm t Zach, yeah. I know you're uncomfortable. I know you're struggling, but guess what? We as coaches, we see incremental improvements. Mm -hmm. Every day you're getting better. You don't realize you're getting better, right. but right. we're watching you live and we're watching you on tape. And son, you are getting better. And this is gonna be the end result one day when you, when you, you know, master this and get comfortable with it. Right. And so to his credit, he trusted his coaches. Right. And look what the type of player he is today. Mm -hmm. Are you, how much is that? You can't do that a lot these days and invest in investing players during the year, can you? I mean, you would you think gotta, that'd be a notion, right? But you. 
You have to connect. You, gotta, you have to connect with them first of they all. Gotta they got to trust. They, you exactly. Got to earn your trust. You have to. And don't you, always equate into wins either. No, but you also have to use like you know the analytics piece or film, and you have to shoot it to them straight. Sure. So so even though they may not, they'll be walk out of a gym or be mm -hmm. you know ticked off one day. You, you still have to tell it to them straight because they don't like the fluffy. Right. You right. know, you're not telling me the truth. So right. even though they're going to get irritated, I do believe you need to tell them like this is what's happening. Those aren't you good shots. With them. And then you may need to back it up with film or numbers mm. that's where that stuff really can make an impact I but I do big. believe you they have to trust you you got to put in your own work and then you got to show them and be direct with them or honest with them like hey this is what I'm seeing mm. and some may never I get it some big. may not that's hey big. father time is undefeated is. it's gonna get us all at some <laughs> yeah. point yeah. injuries father time exactly. and so my conversation with Melo would be look look how do we maximize you the mellow today mm -hmm. yeah forget about mellow five years ago yeah. right Let's see what we can build on with your skill set today. Mm -hmm. How can we maximize that and make you better? Mm -hmm. So let's sit down and break down some film and your best position on the floor. Is it the high post? Is it on the wing? Well, Melo, the way the game is played today is no more ISO. Right. Yeah. But now we can run some sets and get you in movement. And now when you catch it, instead of catching and holding, catching and go or catching and move the basketball. Right. So you got to reinforce those things, but you got to constantly mm -hmm. talk to your be your players about those you got things. To. Yeah. How many play how many players are watching guys like Harden, guys that dribble out the whole shot clock, but are on another team? Right. See, systems play into a lot of this, man. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. It does. You know, this you could be in one system and, and you know, be yeah. playing great and go to the same, a different system. And be yeah. different. And be a whole different player. Look at, I'm, 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 I'm only saying this because of um, Woody, um, Woody's system with Melo, um, coming from D'Antoni's system where it's wide open and you, mm -hmm. it's a lot of four spotting up and then it's one five and it's breaking it down. Guys want that because they have the majority of the ball or whatever. Mm -hmm. What people didn't understand about Golden State is that you can't take their system and put it within any No. no. <laughs> Same thing with Houston. You can't just do that. No. And when I watch Melo, it seems like he wants the system similar to that, or he needs the ball to kind of mimic what he, what he, what he knows and comes from. Right. And until he makes those adjustments himself, this is what he's going to be but like. But KG, them league, days man. are gone. And well, that's, it, 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 he has to make those. That's what I'm saying. Toronto was probably the last team that played, still played a lot of ISO basketball with DeMar DeRozan mm -hmm. and Kyle last year. And if you watch them this year with DeMar averaging five assists a game and how he gets his shot, and this is the thing. The ball is always going to end up in the best player's hand. Yep. This is the thing. Now, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to catch and hold? Or are you going to be decisive and quick with your move? Right. And if the defense adjusts and cuts you off, move the basketball. Then let it right. go. Let Coaches it are not telling. Look, you still want those guys getting 20-plus shots yeah. a game, right. but it's how you get the shots. How you get it. Yep. Yeah. Right. And that's a big thing now on how the OKC is still uh, gelling together, too, as the coach. Right. You know, Donovan, he, how, how, how is he adjusting to the NBA game? And, yep. Teaching them film and teaching them tricks yeah. and yeah. you know yeah. teaching them that chemistry they he, need to. He's uh, making some adjustments as a coach as and still coach trying to better well. himself right. as a coach. The yeah. hardest thing for a, a young coach like Billy Donovan to come from college to the NBA, because you have players like Westbrook, Paul mm -hmm. George, Melo, they Adams who know them. the game. The hardest thing is you still got to coach them. Right. Right. That's still the thing that you. Them. You have to, Coach K say this all the time, you got to be willing to coach your best players. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every day. And your best players, you know, you guys every day. And your best every, players got to be willing to be coached. He's got to be willing to be coached. Are they to. really respecting the coach? Right. coach no doubt. You know? No doubt. You should really coach respect. your best players harder, harder. harder. than your other players. Yeah. I, my whole thing was this. You're getting all the money, mm -hmm. you're getting all the minutes, <laughs> and you're getting all the shots. Right. So why am I not coaching you? Right, right. Why am I coming in yeah. at halftime yelling at the guy, who, the guy that, that played two, two minutes, minutes because he turned the ball over, <laughs> and my starter, right. who's playing yep. 38 minutes a game, got four turnovers and made some bonehead plays, mm -hmm. not where yet defensively. Those guys, and, and I used to tell my players, let me tell you something. Too much is given, much is expected. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be on you, my starters. starters I expect much. more yeah. from you guys because you get more. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But don't be on your starters 
just to be on them because they no, can take more. No, 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 no. I know him. I, know him. I don't want to hear that. Go ahead, Wonder Boy. I know him. He'll be on you. He'll be on your ass. He'll be on you because you can take it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the cat that played two minutes didn't give me nothing in two minutes. Right. Yeah, We've yeah. all had so coaches that yell, what, yell at certain ones there because you go. they Everybody can take can't it. Because they can take you it. Them? But you know they mean it for them. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I know you're talking to that's them. That's what you have to do. That's him, man. That's him. Bill Musselman used to yell at me. And mean it dream. It, but he but he meant he was meant for Tony Campbell and <laughs> right. Rich. Yeah, so one night, Muss is on me. I he takes me out the game. I'm like, Muss, coach. He said, Why I, are you on me? Because I said, care. And this is what he said. He grabbed me by the arm. He said, Sam, Mitch. You know I can't yell at them one or two, so I have to yell, yell at, at you, and yeah. they hear me yelling yeah. at you. Yeah. And what I'm yelling at you about is really for them, and they know it. That's subliminal, man. Yeah. Give me and, and, the and, and you know, and, and and I said, okay, coach, I get it. I get and, it. And, and, and I realized as a player, I had to allow my head coach right. to do coach, that right. it, because mm -hmm. it worked for our team. It worked. And he said, you can take it. Right. Then you turn around and do the same thing. Go ahead, Wonder Boy. Give me <laughs> That's for terrible. Katie off of Facebook. What are you looking forward to coaching the Liberty the coming season? Um, what are the challenges, and what do you what makes Tina Charles such a special player? Oh wow! I, I am excited about coaching Ooh, uh, right. Tina um, Piff Epiphany Prince, who's one of the best two guards. Right. Um, you got you got we got we got, we got mm -hmm. some, uh, Boyd and and Bria. Some we have some pieces. Yeah. And so we can expect a championship then. Put the pressure um, on. Competitive, yeah. We should we should be <laughs> in, we should be in the mix. Boy, look how the coach is. Look how this thing. Look look look. We've had the third best record the last two years. <laughs> so guess what? If we drop off this year, whose fault is it? No no no. It's my it's the no, 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 because our team's the same. But I do, um, our team, we need to score a little bit more. Mm. We need to get out a little bit. We need that ball to fly a little bit, mm. uh, you know, advance the ball. We need to get easier buckets. And How are you going to break them habits, Coach? Oh, we got to do it every single day. Every I, ha day. I have to be consistent. Our, our, our staff has to be consistent and not have too many things we're picking on, right? We have yeah. to have, like, three main things that, like, we're doing this every day. This every is who day. we are. Now, again, that's my, that's showing up locked in every day. Like, I got to make sure whether it's Tina to whoever's coming last Animal. off the bench. No doubt. So, I'm, I'm pumped to, to try to play those games, you know, f get my end-of-game situations, try to memorize mm. my plays, you know, that type of stuff. Right. So, I, and I need to draw a little neater on the board. Yeah. So, there's a lot of little <laughs> things I got to learn, but Tina is, is phenomenal. Tina Charles, that's, I don't know if you've, oh, she's yeah. expanded her Oof. game. Yeah. Now, you put her on the block, Oof. She'll murder you. I mean, she's right. quick. She, she can rip it. it. She can shoot it. But she's now expanding her game, shooting Thank a three you. ball well. Um, we need to get her a drive and, and take the contact and then get the and ones. Mm -hmm. um, but she's really, she works at her game. She's competitive. She really wants to bring a championship. I want to ask you this. <clears throat> when you watch the league or when either, either league, either WNBA uh, or NBA, what style as far as D'Antoni, uh, Golden State, uh, you know, Tibbs, more defensive, what style do you prefer or do you like as far as preference? I'm not saying that you're going to implement these styles right. in your own plan, but as a player, what style did you like? The West Coast, the East Coast? What was more of a slow ball? You like the 75, 83 game or you like the 112, I probably am not. I'm probably not Dan Tony type, just where you're just letting it fly and everybody. I think it might drive me crazy to see right, three right. balls just by people. But you still, who, you still cherish your good shots yeah, and shot I, selection, I mean, shot right? selection and, and sharing the ball. But I do appreciate, I mean, push it and get an easy bucket okay. or an easy touch on mm -hmm. the block. I, I think our post players, the best place to get it is early in transition right. before anybody else is set. Right. Um, I think it's a mixture, like a Golden State and a little bit of, and I do want to play D. Please believe. I, I think that <laughs> you better you better get after at this end because just in case we aren't hitting, right? You got I want to make sure we got a shot. No doubt. But I do want I want easy buckets, but then I want to execute and I want the ball to fly. So I, I really Antonio. want Golden State where it's San Antonio, San Antonio to a point, mm. but I want that ball to be like if I don't have it. Popping. If I'm driving it and I draw, I want to find, mm. you know, and I want to get good shot shots. So I'm I'm kind of a combination of a lot of things. Nice. So nice. whether I can get anything done. Yeah, I'll, I'll, well, it's gonna it's be. It'll be good. I, I like it's your intent, it. and then, yeah. you know what? what I gotta try to be. You gotta ready. have a game plan. You yeah. got one. Mm -hmm. I do. I have an idea. I just yeah. again, it's it's literally. Oh, it's gonna change it's, after it's, the first yeah. practice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You know, Every day. Oh, you yeah. You know it's that thing's gonna be like. Here, you know it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's all right. I forget that one. Let's put some. You know, people don't realize this. When we would go to training camp, not only did we have every training camp practice already planned out for the entire training camp, I had the first three weeks of the regular season practice. <laughs> when we sat down as a coaching staff, I had the first month of practices. Uh -huh. Now, I did that to have a blueprint to say, okay, right. we should be here by this day here. Now, with the <coughs> same thought process of, if we didn't get to something, I didn't worry about it. Right. I didn't worry about it. 
Because my whole thing was, if we learn one thing Each a day, day right, mm -hmm. good. you're going to get better. Right. You know, instead of, and I hate it when coaches would come through and say, okay, we got these nine things in practice to right. get done in two hours. And yeah. whether we're doing them right or whether we're getting better at it, hey, at the end of 10 minutes, we're going on we're to the going next thing. Yeah. I hated that because every day you're coming back doing the same thing. My whole thing and is... never good at if anything. We, exactly. If we got good at one thing today, mm -hmm. Mark, then, we, then we've made significant improvement. Wonderboy, give me some. KG and Ricky, too. What kicks are you guys rocking tonight? Everyone on Facebook's wanting to know. I got like me some times on. I need me a pair of those, man. Hey, what are those yeah. called? Bottoms. Everybody's kick game. Mm -hmm. Solid night. Yeah, yeah shoe game. I, I, I like your Farragamos you yeah, got on low key. Well, right. but you know, uh, it's yeah. Farragamos for old guys. You know, y'all got that. Yeah. 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 Young got the Young She got the next shoes. What are those called you got on? What kind of shoes are those? These are Oh, those KG. These are little Olympic ones. Them high, right. Who are those by, KG? These red boodles. Boodles. The Cardi B's. Okay. Nah, man, you know, I'm just blending in with yeah. me. I'm saying, I'm yeah, saying, yeah, shoot yeah, yeah. Shoot yeah. like, man. Shoes. Yeah. I almost came in here with some right. Yeah. Well, you know, I normally have my wingtips on, but I figure if I'm going to be in Area 21, you can, yeah. I got to pretend to be cool <laughs> whether, I'm, whether I am or not. Rick, uh, you're so wonderful. What was your favorite dunk on another player in your career? Oh. Steve Nash. Oh. Ooh. Probably definitely. One of the nasty. Yeah, this was, yeah, that was Did you, it. Now, what, was, now, what you thinking? Now, you, Oh, oh he just get out your way. And he just kept backing up. Now I said he kept backing up. Where's he going? He's backing up. And I just, I just, ah. you said, I'm finna try it. Yeah, because, you know, I thought he was going to step up so right. I can kick Yeah. Him, you know, right. but right. If I was going to give it up to get so it you back. You trying to, you know, gauging. the old school, give it up early and, and, and get, get it right back. Watch, watch this dribble See, right. He kept, he he kept going, backing up. Him. Yeah, oh. it's over. It's over. That was nasty. And then they don't know I almost broke my neck, but I grabbed the rim at the last second. Right, right. Oh, you put that other hand in? Yeah, you was about to fall. Well, people, look, this was oh, nasty. Oh, they don't even know about this. This was nasty. Oh, this was nasty. I'm still the only one Listen, to do this ever man, in the game. Man, I saw you did this. You did this I'm in Boston, too? Yep, I missed that one, though. Then you I did came, it 360 in Boston, too, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. This was nasty. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Wow. Yeah. How old? How old were you there? 18. 17. Oh, yeah. oh. Look at George Lynn. George Lynn. Oh, man. George Lynn. He had to have his nose because that was some steak right there. Man, that's nasty. That's crazy. That's some steak. Oh, that's scary, dog. That's a young leg. I'm definitely hanging on that joke, man. I'm definitely hanging on the rim. Yeah. Wow. Whoa, scared me. Hey, listen, that was a huh? that was a gangster team too. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. DC, Chuck Person. Hey, man, hit your cuff button. <laughs> oh man! Oh snap! Let me ask you this, man. Favorite place that you played, man, throughout your life, throughout your career? Probably Miami. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Miami was just great. A A A, a class. Really? Off the court, on the mm. court. It was just he he, he expected you to work. Though. Yeah, he no expected you to work, work right? but he definitely just took care of you. All right. You know, family wise. Pat, Pat take care of your players. Yeah. And he, you know, he take he's loyal. He pay everything. your players and. You gonna work. You gonna, gonna take it. You gonna work. But you're, you're there to work yeah, anyway. You work anyway, you know, there to so, get better. Yeah, you no did, doubt. and and that was it. The the better in shape, the better you gonna win. No doubt. Yeah. And it takes you a long way. I like to think that um, Pat was uh, Pat was consistent with that. He didn't he didn't show favoritism to players. Mm, not at all. Everybody had a. Um, had to come there with the working mentality, mm -hmm. and if you didn't, and uh, he, he would expose you. And, yeah. And, and, Everybody thought coming to Miami was going to be like, oh, we're going to be at a party. Yeah. At a party. You up First day you know. come in there, you got the trash cans on the four points <laughs> and throwing up. Got them bikes in and the he corner. He got a list of where y'all was at, and you like, what the? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was just a beast. But that was the first person to really bring the analytics for me mm. uh, on the defensive end and closing out and contesting shots and boxing out and being Players the don't even realize just by holding your hand up, yeah. the, the other player shooting the things goes yep. down 20, See, 25. Yep. They don't even realize they it. Just get your know. hand up. Yep, yep. Yeah, just so, simple, simple things. That's it. So Small that's the first pers place I learned analytics. Really? Yeah. Miami, mm -hmm. the heat. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. What was your favorite, favorite building to play in? Favorite KG? player, believe it building, or not. Your building, your favorite building. I'm going to tell you all this, man. I had three of them. Um, for some reason, Sacramento mm. 
Sacramento that was a good, had like that was a, good a place. it was it was think, think about what that when place the is. Because Sacramento Monarchs, we played there. That place is right. It's was dingy. Yeah. It's black. You can see. It's wow. tight. Yeah. You remember Reunion? I don't, I don't know if y'all yeah, remember, remember Reunion. Reunion, Reunion. Reunion. Yeah. Oh, Reunion. Yeah. before they built what they built in um mm -hmm. yeah, in America Dallas, Airlines. They had an older spot named Reunion. <laughs> oh my God! I don't know what was in here, <laughs> but man, it just looked like I just got it. It looked like in 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 Madison Square Garden, dog. And, New that York. was my favorite the place. Ice, the I actually hit the court. Oh, I actually man. hit the court. Yeah. Listen, Boston in, in the garden, Boston in New York, every time I hit the, I used to tear up, dog, <laughs> just because the energy yep. in there, man. Yep. Yeah. If I get a master square, man, I'll be sick. <laughs> Got the flu, <laughs> knee broke, head. Light I came in and got my bust my head. Yeah. Well, yeah, I want to. I'm, 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 man, it's Madison Square, man. Flip, you got to play. Tonight. Yeah, I'm playing. Yeah. We're in New York. New York, <laughs> man. I, got, I love it. always play. Hey, young fella. You want me mean something this day? You gotta play a night in here. You gotta bring. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Start that. Yeah. Start you gotta play in the garden, baby. Start that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Start that thing. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Uh -huh. All right. So you know, man, you heard the old heads. So, yeah. yeah. You gotta play that Tendo. Hey, that my man, that Tendo killer. It's gonna be you. Keep going. You be all right. Gotta play. Sam taught me all a lot of stuff. Gotta play, man. I remember that night you was sick. I felt bad for you, man. You were sick and dog, had man. the flu, sick as a dog, man. Ricky. And I'm not going to tell you what Kevin McHale, Kevin McHale was vice president, and he walks in, and KG and I sit beside each other, and, you know, we getting ready to go on the floor, and he looks at me, he said, Mitch, can he go tonight? I said, Mac, I don't know, this man. This the mind game stage He's yeah. sick, Mac. He really sick. Mac <laughs> walks around, looks at him, <laughs> does like this, and just walks away. <laughs> KG looks at me, he said, what does that mean? I said, you better put them tennis shoes on because you got to play tonight. You <laughs> For real. <laughs> you got to play. Uh -huh. He put you know, them on. You got to play. It was man. subliminal. You yeah. know, like oh, yeah. That, it was more like, all right, you think I'm a joke. You out here playing like, all right, so then when I come back in, I'm like, yeah, it's Look at that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. what you want. Right. Man, Kevin uh -huh. McCann played with a broken ankle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. You had to play. Man, play Kevin played right. his ankle this big. Uh, he you still had to be play. On that ankle. No, but seriously, though, man, I, I actually needed that. Yeah. He'll tell you. Man, we all loose up here. We all in your all, mind. We ain't all, we ain't mm. all got it up yeah. here. Mm. And when I connected with people that kind of was the same, you got unbelievable um, uh, out of me. Like, I would be over here tired. I'm playing 15 straight minutes. What you going to do? We need to stop down here. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> care about the time right now. Let's get a stop. Let's get a stop. And you know what? Inside, I was like... He right, would tell right, me that. Right, right. We really do need to stop right, right now. Right, and it's going to be on me. Uh, you know where they coming to. Yeah. They coming right here. So anytime I didn't have him there and I had a moment, mm -hmm. and when I took the Boston, Brooklyn, came back. So anytime I had a moment, yeah. I would always hear this one. Uh -huh. like, Can't quit, man. Like, right. Right. Yeah. Can't and quit. always pushed me through. So that's why when I was a veteran and I had young rookies, I would always say something mm -hmm. to them just to put that in their head. That's it. And Big Baby told me when he went on and played in different places, mm -hmm. he would always think about Sitting in there, nobody telling me he had to get shots up, and then he'd hear my voice. Mm. So, you know, that's it. You know it I like matters. to think of this past Bill down. Musk would talk me that, man. I like to that's think that it. it's all passed down at some Musk point. Musk used man. to push you to, you to the to. end does. for mental toughness. He used to tell you all the time. When I came to Minnesota, that's the first thing I, I picked up was your work ethic. Man. Like, whoa. We uh, work, bro. We oh, practice. We pra yeah. Oh, it's serious. I did not yeah. know. I did not know that other people didn't practice. Oh, I didn't we didn't know. We, we got... practice every oh, day, man. Listen. Oh, they, 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 every they, day. Listen. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, every no. day. Remember, yeah. like, follow me in practice, yeah. like, oh, my ankle. Yeah. Here, come over. Tighten it. Oh, you got to play. Yeah. Get back. <laughs> this was, I'm trying to tell you, We practice every day in Minnesota. And the thing with him is that you're making out the money. Yeah. Oh, that was all he wanted. <laughs> that's all he wanted. You got to go earn it. You got to come in here and earn it, You got to get it. Man, right. But I'm that's, like, Ricky, you know this. Yeah. If your superstar doesn't set the, the oh, it doesn't set the tone. Yeah. Right. If he's lazy and everybody. don't work, everybody's yeah, going to be, everybody. your Listen. team is going to take after mm -hmm. the personality of your best players yep. or your coach. Yep. One of the two. Yep. And KG, the thing that we saw, he wanted to win everything, every race. Every right. every, Ricky, we beat him in scrimmage. We yeah. beat him in practice. He come in the next day, wouldn't speak to us. Right. Wouldn't talk. Ready you for the sprint. Ready. Flip, you know. ready Flip for the sprint. Flip was like, get on the line. Yep. Yeah. Beat me today. My knee was uh. messed up yesterday. <laughs> I'm good today. Like, yeah, I think Advil this morning. Ready. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I wouldn't know, speak to us. took things so personal, man. <laughs> you come from high school, man. It's all about proving yourself. These right. old men don't even want me yeah, in here. They, they look at me like I'm taking somebody's job. <laughs> That's oh, how they look at you. So you got to earn it. That was it. No boys allowed. Yeah, you got to I, 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 I was gauge it. up in here was it. and take whoever with me. Man. That, I was, oh, man, I was a wild ass. Mm -hmm. Man, I was.
Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then they would let my friends come on a trip. Oh, yeah. mm. it was all bad. Keep on well, saying. We had to. Right, right. He couldn't go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He oh, couldn't. 18, he couldn't 19. go to a restaurant that served beer or wine. Wow. Yeah, he right. So, man. Man. so yeah. you no, know, Cam was cool about yeah, that by letting no, one of his friends was. come with him because right. he had to. Yeah, yeah he had yeah, to have somebody. Oh, when you go on the road for ten days, yeah, we going to a thing. They be like, oh no. No, you can't, you can't no, no, go. No, no. Come on, y'all. Come on in, Madonna, big fella. Yeah. Like, what you, I remember Because they knew who he was. He was thinking he just didn't get nothing. I was terrible, yes. y'all. So then my crew started coming with me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then we couldn't get in nothing together. So I was yeah. <laughs> 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 like, nah, you can have the road, yeah. dog. <laughs> then look, they, I mean, we get done with the road trip. My friends should probably sleep for two weeks. Man, y'all want to go on the road trip? No, man. We ain't no. That's too We can't do that. No, so right. <laughs> Thank God I turned 21, man. Uh, <laughs> who you telling? I never forget, man. I, I we played a hard you. game in, in Utah. I'll never forget this, man. I was tired and I was starving. We had, was, had to hurry up and I was last and do all this rookie stuff. And then finally they waited on me. I hopped in the car, we get to the spot, and it was, looked like it was jumping in Utah. Yeah. In Utah, I played. <laughs> We flew out in the morning. I jumped down. I was like, man, I'm finna get me. Oh, hold on. You, oh, no, no, you can't be in here. You got, you got to get out. How'd you get through the front door? No, you got to get out of here. You're going to cost y'all license. Get out of here. Pick me up. I looked at Sam like, nah, dog, you got to go, man. She's back at the hotel. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> so, yeah. I yeah. Get it. Yeah, it's all oh, good. Oh, yeah. Right. That's so, now I'm going to tell y'all a story, y'all. I can't go y'all. out by 4.50. So, this is what happens now. Give y'all a story. This is Sam Mitchell. I'm in uh, Boston at the time. He's, uh, he's with uh, Jersey. So, this is where all this comes from. Well, this is what all this has gotten us to where we are now. So I'm on the table getting massaged after the game because I got to flush my legs. Uh, you know, my money in my shoe, all my clothes on the side, they hung up right here. They come in, so, you know, my shoes right here. You know, right here. Say, What's up, boy? You all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. How you been, man? Oh, I'm good. I ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mama good. Everybody good. They good. Yeah, man, just want to come over here and holler at you, man. Love you, boy. I'll holler at you later. I look down, my bankroll was like this. It shrinked like this. <laughs> I can't say nothing. He the OG. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but Ricky, when he'll tell you, his Listen. rookie year, he never brought any money on the road with him. No. He didn't bring his pre dem on the road, and the he first, wouldn't bring his credit card. First, so I had to feed him every road trip. Wonder Boy, for the first three years, I took all my money and I put it under the mattress. Yep. Three years, I had pre dem, real checks, everything under the mattress. Wow. Right? <laughs> then finally, one of my <laughs> my girlfriend at the time had to come to me and be like, hey, look, you got to get a, a How much did you have under the mattress? <laughs> I'm not going to say. Because I don't want to buy a to right? You can buy a house. Don't worry about it. I had enough under that over a million. I had over a million under the thing, but it was checks, cash, pre oh dem. Look, I just did this for the year. But this is how I knew I had to save money, years. though. Yeah. Man, look. Finally, my, my girlfriend was like, yo, you got to get a financial advisor. You can't keep money. Because then, look, <laughs> mom called me some money. Hey, look, go in there under the bed. Yeah. Take it. So it was cool. Yeah. No. Nah, I have about a million plus. He kept his money under the bed. So get ready to go. You just, you know, so, you know, you can't just be doing that. You can't save all that if you got it in your pocket, right? So I would always be on a road trip without money. I didn't know what to do. No, no credit card. I, I didn't know what to do. No I didn't have a credit card yeah. at the time. I had no, I had a phone card. Y'all know the phone card? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, my room, my room, my rooms, I was on the phone all the yeah. time. So, nah. So, that's why I had no money. So, <laughs> fast forward 10 years, he was like, I'm finna get all my bread. <laughs> 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 so, he ain't got no money. He'll come down, take my bank roll. I was like, that's my big bro. He, he the only person uh, that can do that. He was my sister's son. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Man, never yeah. had no money. I'm like, he like, just on. gave us for them before yeah. we left. He's like, hold on. Then I saw the I big deal. He's like, hold on. You make a I'm actually to hit this all the time, <laughs> man. Oh, man. And then, you know, the one time you got money, he ain't around. Yeah. One time I ain't got no money, he ain't around. All right, man. Yeah. One of, give me a question, man. I'm like bringing up this old stuff. Man. Uh, look at that. Uh, I told you OKC was going to take it out today. So, uh, man. Uh, gave Rockets up. going for the 16th so, straight man. win. Yeah. 16? Uh, yeah. 16th straight win. They lost in two years. I think they have a chance to challenge the Warriors. Let, let me say something to you. This yeah. is what worries me. It's almost like that football team that get that rhythm in, and, and then all of a sudden, they take that take one that game off, uh -huh. and they, this is momentum, man. They playing great basketball. I worry if they're peaking too, too early. early. Mm. To my Houston? Yeah. Think about that, because you want to peak around April. You know why? Like, last week of March, you want to come into April with some new energy, like, oh. Yeah. We weren't playing beginning in February. Now we got it together. But this, the only thing it, I, I say about that, KG, is, is this. They are establishing who they are and how they play. Mm -hmm. yep. So they don't know, a, this is the thing you want. I'd rather have a team that goes 
<laughs> foot on the gas. Foot on the gas all the time because when they step on the court, that's all they know. Mm -hmm. Those teams that can sit back and say, well, I go hard tonight, I won't go hard. When you start picking and choosing no, based you on who that. you're playing, you're gonna get, right. yeah, you're gonna get caught. Give me that team that in their mindset, look, uh -huh. in the year the Golden State Warriors won 73 games, that was their mentality. Mm -hmm. They were trying to beat everybody by 20. Right. And that's the, and that's why they won 73 games. Right. Mm -hmm. Because of that Big mentality. Game. And in Houston, Mike D'Antoni knows if they don't have that mentality going into the playoffs, they're, they're, they're gonna be in trouble. How much of a how much of a drop off are you anticipating um playoff time? Because oh, everybody's man, I, doing stuff. I don't think. I, I think it's gonna I be think I be think right. this playoffs may be some of the best we've had last yeah. five, six years. It's first, tough. The, the first round is gonna be brutal. It is. Think and about it. A lot of good teams gonna get beat in the first round, too. Well, think about this. Cleveland getting ready to go on a six-game road trip out west. Yeah, and it's right now they're what, third? Yeah. yeah. But by a game or two. So they can uh, think about it. if Cleveland go out west and go two and four, they can it's over. They can come home and be eight. And be eight. Mm -hmm. Now think about that. Mm -hmm. So if you're in Toronto. And you're sitting there and Cleveland drops to eighth. Toronto how do you feel? Toronto don't have the mental, mental capacity to get past Cleveland in a seven-game series. No. You know why I'm I say that? I don't disagree this year. Because I, I heard DeMar, I heard, I heard it. I heard DeMar DeRozan say, and if you had, any, if anybody had LeBron, man, I can't get over that. If anybody had LeBron James, they would have won too. I can't get over that. I cannot get over that. But this is different. Mm. The right. difference in the Cleveland team now, and I like the young players, but this is what people have to remember. Rodney Hood wasn't starting in Utah. No. Cl Clarkson wasn't starting in no, L.A. No, they don't start okay. out there now. Larry Nance Jr. wasn't starting right. in L.A. Mm -hmm. All right? So this is the thing. I, I like the trade because it's no they're kind of hedging it, their yeah. bet. If LeBron leaves, I still got some young players to build around, and I'm going to have Brooklyn's pick. Mm -hmm. But if LeBron stays, we're going to have Brooklyn pick. We got LeBron, and we still got these young pieces. And... Somebody's gonna come play in Cleveland with LeBron James. LB gone, man. You think he's gone? The tail is over. The energy there is off. It's, it's too much other momentum. You got yeah. other better yeah. options too. To go, man. Listen, I know you don't want to live in Philly, but you got to oh, go to Philly. You oh, got to consider it. You got at least to consider it. What you think about LB going to LA? I just don't think LA has enough pieces to yeah, draw to win. him there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't he think wants he, to wants to, he, he wants to win. He wants to win. He wants to win. 32. Man, yeah. listen, yeah. that's the only place you He don't have time nah, to wait nah, no, for guys nah, to develop. Nah, yeah. He's got to go to a team where guys are ready to he win. He really want to go to New York if he can get to New York if they have some pieces, but... They don't yeah. have enough pieces. Yeah. Don't. Houston, Philadelphia, San Antonio, if Kawhi stays there and gets healthy. Possibly. Now, that, that, now that could be a dark horse now, team now, for that, uh, that, San now, Antonio. Listen, no mm. one likes to talk about San Antonio. You put him and Kawhi and LaMarcus together? Ooh. Now, that's a, that's, oh. There's a lot of different stuff coming out of Kawhi in the future of that, yeah. man. I don't, it's, not, it's not real positive right now. At least that's what I'm reading and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, him uh, you know, having issues and then being kind of separated or whatever. I just Well, I saw him the other night with the team on the bench. So that's a good sign that he's sign. back with the it's team. And KG, you know this at the end of day. Yeah. Yeah, that name on the front of the jersey is important, but you play for those guys with the name on the back. back. You right. play for your brothers, your, brothers, your teammates. Right. Right. You know, you play for the organization, but those are the guys that you right. hang with, that you fight with, right. that you scrap mm -hmm. with. Right. So at the end of the day, I, I got to believe that if he can play at all, he would. he's going to come play. Who's the sleeper? Sleep in the playoffs. Right. West, in the West. In the West? No. Ooh. Uh, ooh. OKC? Okay, really? They in the, the sleepers. In the West. Sleeper. I don't have a sleeper. Ooh. I don't think there is a sleeper. Okay. No, I think I think the bad, you know, the the, the top dogs are going to take care of business. Really? Yeah, they are. What about you, Sam? In the I think New Orleans can scare some people, really? but I still think Golden State and Houston, they they've set the they bar. I don't think in a seven game series, there's not a team in the West that can beat them. Minnesota mm -hmm. is my sleeper. Yeah. That's if Jimmy one. Butler is healthy. Jimmy Butler definitely has to be, has to be uh, healthy. And I want Tibbs to have them on tilt when it comes to defensively. Yeah. Because yeah. I've seen them go on defensive runs where they've shut teams down for about three to three, five minutes, minutes and they can't, and I'm like, wow. They can get a what? bucket. Well, so, when I watched Minnesota this year, I still think they're a year away. When I watched them this year against Houston and Golden State, the, the top teams, mm -hmm. they just don't seem like they believe it yet. Mm -hmm. Right. I see you know, you gotta got to believe. They didn't seem like, yeah, got they got doubt. that doubt. Yeah. And when you're playing, and you know this, when y'all win Boston, when y'all win the championship, y'all can smell a team that had doubt. Oh, no. No matter know, how good. You had to put you can, in there. Yep. The only thing you had to do get a couple steals and start creating You doubt. can see it in the eye. And they'll let go. Oh, yeah. And they'll let go. Because yeah. yeah. they're sitting there saying. We can't beat them. It's just too mm -hmm. easy. It's easy for us to let go right now because we're not supposed to. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and, and I can see that. They're still a year or two away from having that 
that unbelievable confidence that they're the best team. When you when you feel like you're the best team every you night when you like walk it. on the floor, you play like it. I want to go ahead. That's go why ahead. I think it's good for Houston to have that streak right now because this is their first year. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's good for having to have that whether they win it and keep going or not. It's good for them to be able to string off and right. and know they can play together mm -hmm. right. That's with good, all that man. doubt. Uh, before we go to um, um, Wonder Boy, your East East Dark Horse or East uh, Surprise in the East. Ooh. If you had to pick a dark horse. <clears throat> you get me. Indiana. Oh, that was mine. Mm. Kate, what's your, what's your East? I got to look here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Don't I, judge me. I'm going to say know. Philadelphia. I was mm. going to say Milwaukee or Indiana. Because they Philly. have tools that can beat you. And, and then, too, my kind of dark horse, whatever, because it's the Kyle Lowry effect. It's Toronto, man. I know they're playing well, but they play with their doubt. Yeah. They wait for that. But see, doubt. I think Toronto gonna win the East this year. I really do. You because do? their bench. They, might. They, they got the best bench. Their bench okay. lead the scores in the league, 49 points a game. The thing that they, they bench can do, they can defend. And they can score. And the thing about it, when that bench comes in the game, who do you who do you key on? They don't have mm -hmm. one guy. They just kind of score randomly. The ball moves and they score off their defense. And I tell you, man, that that Pascal Siakam kid. <laughs> Listen, man. Yeah. That sounds and, and good. Fred Van season, Fleet. Can you still keep that bench play at playoff season? I mean, playoff level when the playoffs come. If up, this is gonna come down to, and you know this, KG. If the, is Dwayne Casey and the coaching staff gonna trust that bench company? Listen, man. Listen. They trusted them for 82 games. Are you gonna have that same tight. trust? Then you no. start to short. <laughs> are you gonna have yeah. that same? We know Casey. Or, or, we know or Casey. you gonna change the lineup? Or are you going to shorten your bench? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to extend the minutes of the, mm -hmm. the starters? Right. That's going to be the thing I, I, That's I think it, for Because you know what? A certain way. Don't, we're not letting you out here without the East. Philly. Now. Philly is your, ooh, that's there a good There you go. One. Mess around. And don't nobody want to play them either, man. No, I feel no they're, like. little, they, they're fearless, though. They are. Yeah. And because they, they play gun ho. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they ain't got nothing to lose. Gun out. Nah, they're they just like, to they play gun so they out, comfortable. too. They just out there playing hard. One beat out here tweeting anything that he mm. thinks. He <laughs> love him. Ooh, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> question, it's a question for Katie. Any teammates that you had that could party all night and still producing games the next day? I can't go. Don't answer that question. I can't go all day. I can't. Give me another question. But there are people who are capable oh, no. listen, of handling listen. whatever they need to handle the next listen. day, sweat it out, whatever. Listen, but listen. I'm not. I can't. Nah. <laughs> AI guarantee. I was in bed by 10 o'clock every night, night before a game. Every night. 10? 10 o'clock. Man. Yeah. I'm, Every I might night, have been watching TV. I ain't been by 10. Lights were all. Yeah, we all been there. Man. We all had my pajamas on. Had my teddy bear on. Been there. Yeah. Hey, when you, all when I was when you're younger, was thinking about the game. Listen, when you, listen, when you younger, want the boy to be able to do what you talking about, you got to do that when you're young. Yeah. Yeah. You get older, you can't. You can burn. Burn. You can old as Wonder Boy anyway. Wonder Boy is Wonder Boy. He can be between 19 and 30. He's whatever age you want. How old is Don't even tell your age, Wonder Boy. Don't indulge your age on every 21 in here. In between 19 and 30, I guess. Right, you're right. There you go. Gonna say, it's a pretty big window. I'm going to say 23. <laughs> and a Georgia Tech, and he's a yellow jacket, by 26. the way. 26. Right. Well, we won't blame that. Right. It's all, well, you got a Mercer Lion on. What's y'all? Mercer, Mercer Bears, baby. Bears. 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 I'm about to call him an Emory Lion or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy, give me something, man. <laughs> this is Ricky. How about, how will you do in heat check? Ooh! Uh, how do you think you'll fare in heat check? Ooh, heat why, check? Why we all? Oh, yeah. Why we all ready? What, 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 is, that, is that? Is that? Is that the heat check? That's right. Let's see. See this? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay, warm, so look. Warm this thing up. Let me up. give y'all a go. Let me there give y'all. Okay, so really the best shooter on Area 21 is our great uh, step daddy back here. Shout to step daddy in the house. Yeah. Uh, Who? Step daddy. Raise your hand. That guy right there, he's the best shooter. Out the one here, blind right. and one eye can't right. see how But he's a great shooter. He's he's <sighs> knocks out. He's he's the best in here. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna take Why don't top. we try some knockout from the top of the key since no, no, all these times? Knockout, knockout, you get a whole sweat in here. We ain't doing all that now. <laughs> we don't know that. That's true. We're trying to do it whole. Ain't nobody built for no knockout <laughs> here. We built for stand up straight, shoot the ball for 24 seconds and get on out of here. Right. Okay, so look, this is the one rule we got. What's the one rule? Top of the key. Before we start, you get four tries. After your tries, you get 24 seconds. This is our list right here for the participants and some of the some of the numbers. You see who top? Oh, honey, Snoop Dogg. Keep Snoop. rapping, brother. <laughs> Basketball ain't your game. Got, you gotta beat Snoop yeah, now. Snoop and Ice Cube on here. Cube was four. Snoop was five. Uh, Strick and everybody on here. But yeah, T Hud and Eddie 
You know what I'm saying? All how, hold up. Well, Explain to me how a rapper is number one on the list. <laughs> Troy Hudson, a rapper. Yeah. <laughs> Christian yeah, rapper. Yeah, Shout out yeah, to T. Hud right yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, Troy. 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 The rapper. Oh, look at Coach coming out of here. I got to do something. You know what I'm saying? Right. So top of the key right here, we're going to give you 24 seconds. Uh, you get uh, four, practice four practices, yeah. and then uh, only thing we ask the other two protest, uh, participants is me and Wonderboy are going to um, rebound, rebound. going to pass the ball, put the ball back put on the back ground. Back. All right. Okay. Ladies put, first. No, 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 you guys. No, no ladies first. It. Ricky got yeah, it. Yeah, you got oh, it. Oh, Ricky, who So we shoot. Uh -huh, now, do I get it. mixed balls or do I do? Uh, what you want, want it. I don't care. I don't care. We're going to all go in the Oh, she wants that girl. Don't say that. Shoot better with the men's ball. I just had a shot. Yeah, so, you go, so, okay. I, I can shoot with the both. men's ball. You can put there, the right. men's ball in. Put it right here. Right. Put the men's ball. I get put four. I get down. practice. Say, so put the ball in now. Right. Yeah, you get practice. Right. Uh huh. Okay. Right. She used to shoot that thing too. Woo! Oh no! Watch yourself. Coming back at you. Let me get a men's ball. Yeah. Okay. Hey. There you go. Let me just see. Cause if it's there, it's there. All right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. That's four. So Hold strong on. with the guy. Hold on. Wait. Uh -huh. All right. I got my four. Hold on. Wait. We gotta lead this ball out. Leave that one out. You're on fire those, with that one. I mean, whoever, if they can get them back, that's No, fine. no, we get them back. We ready. Here we go. Hey. Give me 24 seconds on the clock, please. Are you ready? Yeah. In five, four, three, two, one. Uh-huh. Yeah. Clink. One. Uh -huh. Clink. Right. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> two. It's off. Oh! Time. Leave it up. There you go. Jerry West, Ten. you better duck. Oh, it's off. Oh! oh. Get that right. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, hey, six. Yeah. She beat Snoop. She beat Snoop. Barely. She beat Snoop. <laughs> That's what you get for never getting in the gym. Right. Hold on, Rick D. Hold we on, go. we gotta swap. Yeah, got we gotta passers? swap. We gotta make yeah, these yeah, balls. Yeah. I got you. Swap them out. Yeah. Right, this is all good. Let's go to the bottom. Go to the bottom. We good. Put them on the bottom. Let's see what the dunker can do. Yeah, let's Ooh. see. We know Rick he can D. dunk, but can uh, he shoot? He I can shoot now. now. Rick my D. Last, you know, my last few years. Right, Rick you D. You had to transform that thing. Rick D. Right. Yeah. That, that Nintendo Ooh. star hurting. Look up. There you go. Look up. He can make them. Oh, yeah. When okay, they don't, OK, okay go, go, go ready. That's your four. That's four. Let's, Let's do four. it. Man, he got that thing on automatic. Uh -huh. Man, he got it. That thing locked and loaded. Are you ready? Are you ready? Right. He's locked and loaded. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Ooh, we're going to have a problem today. Uh-oh. -uh. Ooh, get up, girl. Ooh, he locked in. Ooh, 15. Nice. Deal. Give him a I'm going for the top, oh, honey. I'm going goodness. for the top, honey. Seven, look at, look at Pootie Kane over there. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, yeah. Who he was that? Me. He it. How many? Yeah. New leader. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. what's up. Shoot okay. that thing. Shoot that thing, Rick D. <laughs> you know. Rick D, oh. get on. I know he get hot here, get uh -huh. uh -huh. That's three. Yeah. Hold on. Here I'm we go. ready, player. Here we go. Yeah. It's live. Here we go. Uh. You ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Get it up. Yeah. Mercer Bears. Yes, sir. Don't say it. Mercer Bears. Mercer Bears. Don't say it. 15. <laughs> Mercer say it. Bears. Uh oh. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, shoot that four, thing. Shoot that thing. Yes, three, sir. Two. That thing. Three. Eight, 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 seven. Five. Oh, he's trying to. Oh, oh. okay. okay. We'll give it to him. Eight. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. I like riding the bike. <laughs> play him, play him. I just don't shoot it as quick. Ride the bike. I can't see him make him. We in here, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. right. You know it. Ooh. Way to shoot that uh -huh. thing, right? Oh, that fix was heat that check. name up there. I just can't ah. shoot him as quick. Man, that was heat check. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's got that thing, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh -huh. Keep right. that That's thing shot. Hey. Hey. Keep you sleeping on me if you I want see, to. Uh -huh. <laughs> see, we should have taken care of that Leave your house, hey, hey, yeah. Rick. Leave your house on guard oh, and see God. what happens. Jody, I'm gonna get in there. Jody, 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 Jody.
Oh, Jody, See, you oh, Jody. Hold up, bro. Bro. KG not home? What's your name, Jody? Jody. Jody, <laughs> Jody just <laughs> again, right? Just thing you know, about, you got two kids called yeah. Jody. There yeah. you go. Ooh. You don't know where they came from. Hey, yeah. no use to go home because Jody's got your girl and kids and to go. kids. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, man, right, Jody. man, have a seat, man, oh right. Oh, my gosh. What oh, is Jody. going well, on? Well, KG, look Jody. like your OKC Thunder going to take it on the chin tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a over. minute to go there, down. They're down nine. Man. I just think, uh, oh, wow. They're not calling no fouls. Here we go. You got a chance. Get you Keep one. Pushing. Get you one. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Told you. Tucker got that rebound. Yeah. P.J. Tucker, we drafted him in Toronto. Mm -hmm. When we drafted him, I said, we're taking a, a six foot three power forward. You know what the scout told me? Yeah. He said, I'll put that six foot three guy in. Against, <laughs> yeah, against anybody. Mm -hmm. And he's going to win most of the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, P.J. Tucker's one of them ones. He's like Zach Randolph. You better come with your fight already, or you're going to be in a heap of trouble. <laughs> you know what I tell of rookies? What's that? Before they play Zach Randolph? Can you fight? Like, like, I was telling him straight up, can you fight? Like, yeah, okay. Well, you're going to fight you're tonight. You're going to fight tonight. And be ready to get night. beat up, dog. Mm -hmm. Like, if you got to, hit first. And if you get beat up, this is what it is. This is what Zach Randolph does. That's what he's going to do. He's going to beat the living crap out of you. Mm -hmm. First two minutes, come in. Man, I ain't know how physical you were. Yeah, yeah, I just told you, bro. I, right. I just told you. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to listen. Oh, no. You know, young people don't Personally, know. Personally, I think the shot clock was running too fast on me. I think I had about three more seconds. Could have doubled it. Because I had eight. I could have I could have tied that record of hey, 10 listen. or 11. Hey, listen, 11. what y'all don't know is I looked at his face. He got serious on this game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I know when he gets serious, though, he changes whole little. His face. Know, his, right, his whole <laughs> face changes. His hairline come a little closer and all. They start growing hair. His I couldn't dunk on anybody growing. like that, but I could. His mustache <laughs> start growing and all of a sudden, you know, right. And they turn the wolf man right. Right. <laughs> right. And we still looking for Jody, too. Jody, baby. <laughs> Jody, like. <laughs> so, Ricky, you got the top spot now, baby. Yeah. Left. Man, no, 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 man, can we go? Next we'll time you ready. come in here, they better change the ball. No, no, it's, it's yeah. going to be changed. It's going to yeah. be changed. Yeah. Yeah. I better be up there. We're getting a, a, we get a free call. We're getting away a free call. Yeah, free call. Put, yeah. put, put, put me out of there. Tina Thompson. Put me <laughs> behind Tina. OK, put you between. She was a better player than I was, so I'm OK with you. Yeah, put me above Kenny. Yeah, put me above Kenny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put me above Kenny. All right, we up there. He was just lucky to get them two rings. Oh, wow. He was just on the right team. He was just lucky, yeah. He didn't really make no shots in it. The right place at the right time. He made a couple threes. He made a couple. He didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing. He didn't really do nothing. Would James Harden ever cut this beard? Man. If we, will we ever see him without the beard? Uh, he is, he, is, he, is, he will at some point. Game. You know what? Yeah, if they win is. the champ, you know what we should say to James? We should no. put this out there. If, if you guys wins, win the championship, you got to cut your beard. Cut what? Mm. That's what we know him for. He got to the championship with, with his beard. beard. Hey, but if you win it, do you cut it? I don't know. You Why don't you want that out? You think he'd want to win it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. How long did it take him to grow that Seven though? Years. Like, how long did it take you to? Oh, years. I still oh, no, he got can't cut spots that. I it can't feel. He can't cut that. I grow it out during the playoffs. He got birds and some bread <laughs> and like last. He got a couple dinners in there. Uh, like, peanut butter and jelly yeah. sandwiches with some yeah. almond milk. He got some bread in there. He didn't know. He got a lighter in there somewhere. <laughs> Like he got he got stuff. He go, oh man, you know I was looking for this shirt. Where did it go? Okay, so OKC lose tonight. What do they drop to? They still in seventh spot, or do they drop? Oh, they, 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 they drop to eight. They drop. They drop into eight. I think yeah. um, they all tied twenty-eight. Yeah, I'm about to say it's like it's like tight. three. It's twenty-eight. They're at one game ahead of Denver right now. And that's the yeah. win. That's the win, right? They all got. Where's New Orleans? This New Orleans after tonight. Where? New Orleans sitting in fourth. New Orleans is fourth. Man, uh -huh. man, so Anthony West, Davis did that. Man, the West right now yeah, you have Portland. Right. Portland right. in the third, 12 games back. In an eighth, you have the Nuggets, 14 and a half back. So two and a half game spread, you have two to eight. From three to eight, eight, sorry. From here three we go right here. Three here go. They go yeah. by loss. Minnesota they is dropping, man. I thought six, if they yeah. lose, they're going to drop to nine. You Nuggets, see this? Nuggets are down seven to Dallas. So If they lose, they drop to nine. Man, I thought mm -hmm. Utah was going to be in there. I am shocked that the Clippers had this type of season, man. I Dude, didn't, I, I didn't, didn't listen, man. I did not <laughs> think. Uh, the Clippers were going to be but nowhere about near something. the playoffs. You, if you look at all three teams, like, if you look at the Doc Rivers, if you look at look Denver, at Portland, Portland. Yeah, but look at Denver, the Clippers, and Utah. Portland. Of those three teams, 
Hey man, I would be scared to play Utah. Man. Mm -hmm. Because of Gobert and, and, and Donovan Mitchell. They're going to change the game. Utah can defend, and yep. they're big, and they're physical. It's just not deep. They man. can slow the game down and just grind it out against you. It's just not deep. Where man. do you see the Spurs finishing currently fifth right now? They're going to be somewhere between four and four. Fifth. It depends four if Kawhi fifth. comes back. Right. If Kawhi comes back, it doesn't matter where they finish. No. Nah. Because with Kawhi Leonard, look, they were up 23 Golden State in the third quarter with a health of Kawhi Leonard. Right. So I, I still believe that if Kawhi Leonard is healthy, and this is the thing you haven't seen this lineup on the floor. Coach Pop can put LaMarcus, he can put Powell, put Rudy Gay at the three, yeah. mm -hmm. Kawhi at the two, Make him big. and Tony Parker, at, yeah, or Delonte right. at the one. I Look how big and long and athletic you are. Right, right. right. Oh, right. man. Because, mm -hmm. right. you know, Rudy Gay can still play the three, and he yeah. can shoot and score. Right. And he's 6'9". What's his poise like in the, uh, what's his poise like in the uh, playoffs? Like, I think everybody's given this regular season temperature. And we gotta, we gotta think about, man, we get into this dance, mm. man, I, we know what I did. Up. You already know this, man. I gave everybody the, the credit that they were able to make that, that jump or make that adjustment to, not everybody can make that adjustment to the playoffs mm -hmm. from, from regular season. No. And that's what, that's what I'm asking here. It's a big here. difference. You know, how, who, can make, who, can make, who, who can make those adjustments, you know? It's a big difference. You, you yeah. got to make those adjustments, man. Got to. Got to. Which mm -hmm. players can play in the regular season and, and which, which ones can play in the playoffs? Right. right. That's right. the difference. Mm -hmm. It is. And, and then I think coaches, that's the scary part for Cleveland because you got these guys that left and they're not doing good in the season, but you know, playoff times, they it's got the everything. experience. Man, I, li I like right Larry Nance Jr.'s young guys. energy. I like <clears throat> him and Tristan Thompson's, uh, you know, him coming out. Like, they keep a hustler on the but floor. But guess what, guys? Come playoff time, oh, that guy count. rolling, I'm going to have someone there to bump him early. Bump slow that momentum. Right. And we're going to be, everybody's going to be on the string. Because yeah. everybody's yeah. going to be it locked in up. and focused. Right. Right. Because you're up. playing one team seven times, potentially. Yep. So you, by that third game, you you're going to know know each other. Right. Like you know the back of your hand. Right. Yep. And if you nice and whatever you got, it's, it's, you're going to have to go to B and C's. Yeah, because they're going to take away the first. Oh, they're going to take away yeah, everything, yeah, right? you're, you're, And that really hinders some players. Yeah. You take the players A, oh, you don't have a B and C. Over, you yeah. don't know what else to do. Yeah, it can, it can and that's really the scary thing about team. Milwaukee with the Greek freak. It's hard to scout him. It's, you know, he like, just, he's all over the place. Right. He's if no, anything, you give him a no jump. Set, yeah, if anything, no you give him a jump for that guy. He's just... You never know where he's going to be. Talk about this, man, from a coach's perspective. I want to ask y'all this. And we talked about this a little earlier. Why do, and I kind of know the answer here, but I want to hear it from the perspective of why do in, um, in development do, do a lot of the, um, do a lot of these teams have Division two and three assistant coaches or Division three players turn to coaches teaching these elite post and wing guys. I, I, I put it to you like this. And don't make it about no economic. It didn't no, it is no, 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 no. But, but, but one thing I've learned is that you, a coach, if he's solid in his teaching, you don't have to have been a great player in order to teach someone certain skills. You just got to have a passion for it and you got to know what you're doing. Right. right. You got to know what you're doing, and that's the thing. So I don't, I, I wouldn't, I don't judge a guy on where he came from. I came from Mercer, so I remember when I got drafted, I stood up in the room at the Portsmouth Invitational Tournament, and we had to say where we were from and we're school. And I'm Sam Mitchell, Mercer University, in Macon, Georgia. People start laughing. But guess who walked away with the MVP trophy, mm. and the I, team won the championship. I laughed when you told me with the Mercer. <laughs> <laughs> And, 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 and so, but I've learned that there's a lot of young development coaches out there mm -hmm. that are good at teaching and developing. Mm -hmm. But see, there's a difference now between coaching yeah. and developing and, and teaching yeah. guys development now. Mm -hmm. Two totally different things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes great coaches are not good player development coaches, right. and exactly. sometimes player development coaches don't mm -hmm. make good coaches. Right. You got to know your niche, okay. and then you got to find your niche and become good at it. Because think about it. Uh, some of the guys that we had in Minnesota, yeah. Mike and those guys, no they were good. I don't know if they make good head coaches right. or basketball coaches, but you put them in the gym one on one with a player, and they're unbelievable. Mm -hmm. well, well, and then to to follow suit with that, they probably wasn't. I ain't gonna say they was great players. Yeah. Or they were players that you would probably want to, you know. But when it comes to articulating and teaching, they was really good. Kev, right. sometimes the Mike. better teachers are the non great good players for this reason. A person like you, who's a Hall of Famer. 
you sometimes you can't understand why somebody like me can't do A, B, and C. Can't's not a word. Well, can't, but but why we're having right. a hard time. When things came to you so easy, you sometimes the biggest thing with a, a great player, why you just can't pick that up? Articulation. Right. Well, you maybe, picked up things no, no, so easy because yeah. of your talent. Mm. You just, we can show you something one time and no. you could just do it. But that's Even if it was ball about handling. About about. Well, for me, if you gave me a ball handling drill, if you didn't give me a week, <laughs> if you're going to be mad at me after two days, yeah. then you might as well be mad. Right. It's going to take me a week to get it. Hey, no, but he can pick it up in one day. One day. You know, I had, the, I had the understanding as a leader, too. Mm -hmm. I, I, I became a better leader when I understood that. Mm -hmm. right. I had a player that we played with, and he was, you know, probably wasn't the most physical. And I couldn't understand why he couldn't make that adjustment I and just, you know, play tough. I see you in practice, play tougher. And I used to push that on him, and that wasn't who he was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Later on, he said the reason why he left was because of, you know, me not being I know able exactly to what understand you're about. that. Mm -hmm. And then I watched him play, and then he messed around and won where he went. And I was just looking at him like, how is he surviving in the league? <laughs> Two more years later, he was never in the league ever again. So, you know, a lot of this is desire, but... I had to understand just that. Mm -hmm. And then I communicated Everybody's different. Because everybody think I'm high. And mm -hmm. they tell you, you know. I you and you. I can scream and curse at each other. Absolutely. Right. That's, that's how we communicate in but practice Ricky, in the game. But with Rick and I, we might have a different yep. kind of relationship yeah. where I might pull Rick to the side or Rick pull me to the side. And we have a one-on-one. -on -one. In leadership, I had to learn that this is going to always oh. be right. Yeah. You are spot you gotta on on that always, one. You got to always. always be turning this. Mm -hmm. You got to always be in the case where you are always adjusting yourself. Yeah. Everybody responds player, different. You have to adjust yourself, man. Yeah. Facebook, we about to get out of here, man. It's been real, you two, Periscope, yeah. my dog. We all in here. We holler at y'all next week. Or the week after that, or the week after that, or the week after that. Right. <laughs> we out of here like swimwear. Wonder Boy, thank you for letting me meet you.